Hello and welcome to uh, the Division 4B recap, week 9, season 13, something like that. Agreed. Yep. Yeah. Um, with my normal guest, Spoon. Say hello, Spoon. Hello, Spoon. Yay. And also a special guest, Disco Dave. Say hello, Dave. Hey, special. <laughs> Hi, you okay? Yeah. Woo. Woo. Nice to be here. Cool. Um, so... I like to try and do a, a little, you know, question and answer thing to start with when we have a guest. So, uh, Dave, you don't play tabletop now, but you did a long time ago. Is that right? A long time ago, yes, time ago. I did. Yeah. Was it the polystyrene board, or was it, you know, before then? It, it was, um, yeah, it was um, the polystyrene one. Yeah, yeah. S second um, edition. My friend, he he he'd make his own. He'd do his own. You know. What like he'd his own plate, his, his own pieces. No, he'd make his own board, like a ah. um, special board, you know, yeah. Cool. Well, I... Yeah, he quite like doing that, yeah, yeah. But I mainly like the, I like the PC game mm -hmm. better. And you, did, you, you did you play Blood Bowl 1 or did you go straight on to Blood Bowl 2? I went on to 2. Uh-huh. Cool. I, just, I dabbled for a short time and then I've just recently, about the last year and a bit, I've started playing again mm -hmm. a lot more often. Yeah, um, and mostly I'm in, in Rebel. League, no. Yeah, how I'm many? In, um, the Rebel League. Mm -hmm. I'm in the Beer League, Holly League, and the DVLA League, which Mo Jorison started. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, Mojo, I just call him Mojo. Ah, mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Jorison. <laughs> That's it, Mojo. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, I've got one dead in that league last year as well because um, you're in my division for a bit. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, I didn't fully like the idea of just having the big boys to score. You know, <laughs> it just seemed a bit strange when you could on. score and then you, you know you couldn't. <laughs> you uh, know, it's so. quite a fun one. Yeah, it was a yeah. short league. Yeah. Uh, is is holy league the one that you, where you're not supposed to foul as well? Is that what? Which one's the holy league one? There's no fouling, no. No, no fouling, um, yeah. Oh, no not fouling. that league again. <laughs> I've been invited to that a few times. I've been like, nope, not playing one where there's no fouling. Even though no I'm... fouling, no claw, no mighty blow, no piling on, <laughs> no day player. What? You can't, you can't take them as extra skills, no. If it comes with mighty blow or claw, you can have it, but you can't add to it. At all. I, I would totally be exactly. choosing teams that already start with core and mighty blow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get the odd bits, but you don't get the combination. Mm. Or, um, and surfing injuries are um, healed. Yeah, I read that as well. As well. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Does it, you know, do you like that league? Is it interesting? I like it. I'm, I'm playing high elves. Mm -hmm. um, just getting to know them, because I normally just play... Um, Orcs and things and high elves is totally different, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh uh, wait, yeah, it, the team. is it is it no no stalling as well? Is it something like um, no? They don't they don't they don't specify that. No, okay. it's a bit hard if your if your team value down. Mm -hmm. It's a bit a bit hard because you can't you can't hire a wizard. Oh weird. Uh, or, and you can't have a bribe. Mm -hmm. So it, it's hard if your team value down. So the restart, everybody at twelve hundred. So it's quite good. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. Cool. Yeah. Actually, it sounds it kind of you know the more you talk about it, the more it sounds like it's like the, the trouble is the the unique selling point of it is something that I don't want, but the other bits of it sound like well at least it's a, a different idea. You know, it's not just another big league. You know, I want I want interesting experiences rather than than you know. Just a, a oh, different yeah, it's group. Quite a, there's quite a few in the league as well. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's quite good. It's um, it's a good standard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, shall we? Shall we actually start then? Talking of uh, no stalling. Uh, yeah. Why not? Yeah. So uh, the first game we're going to look at. Uh, I didn't make. I haven't made any clips at all this week. I am sorry, um, but you know, such is life. Uh, uh, so we're going to talk about the first g game, which was the Admin Week, the team of Noblars against the Vampires. And Supra was complaining that, oh, I misread what he said. Okay. 
he's comp- where his MVPs and um, star player points went. Okay, so it's pretty rough. The, so one of the MVPs went to a thrall who had zero SPP before. I mean, it's like having thralls with skills is not a bad thing, is it? I think it's just because of the fact that he's got zero at the moment, and there's so many better places for it. He had yeah, quite a few players that could have leveled. So Brad's bag of blood well, three. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I think he has five, five vampires now, doesn't he? Yep, uh, yep, five. Back to five again now. Yep, cool. If you well, less than a fifty percent chance of getting a MVP, I suppose. But he gets two, doesn't he, for an admin? Yep. So the get two. Yeah, oh, the other one. The other one went on the player who's already a superstar. Is that the phrase for a person who's level six? Oh, right. Yeah, uh, maybe. Um, so no, yeah. not much effect. So it, he yeah. it's kind of wasted. He's already level six. He's at still what eight, 80? Yeah, eight, 80, 80 to right. SPP away from from you know legend. Yeah. Uh, so he was annoyed about that. I, I misread that. I thought he said he got it on a player who was on six SPP, not six level six. So I I thought he was complaining about someone who's now you know within within five of getting another and i thought you were saying a vampire got within five but no you meant level six okay no, far further away than that sadly. yeah uh yes that is sad ish yes i mean there's there are there's not that many good options though no there wasn't the touchdown went to one of the guys that could have leveled if he got the mvp yeah which was a bit unlucky bled brutally the kick yep kick one yeah but you know I mean, he could have. Well, he he could. He's also a strength two one as well. Yeah, but he's got kick, so you know, and he's just, he's still a blood bag, so you know, it's uh, not even that bad. Uh, I'm guessing Brad's bag of blood will get kick when he levels, when so, he gets his next MVP. Hmm. Uh, I mean, if he'd have really been trying to do it, he knew he was going to get money for this game. He could have fired a thrall or two um, yeah. to up his chances of it hitting someone good. Someone not on zero SPP. I mean, Brad's bag of blood would have been one of the prime targets for getting fired. What would being zero SPP, yeah. right? Well, it's a good idea that yeah, mm-hmm. you could have done that yeah mm. in hindsight. You yeah. know, it's a bit risky. You might end up not getting enough money to replace him, but you know, yeah. well, you definitely could have dropped one. Yeah, I mean, fifteen players is still is a lot, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Anyway. That's fair. Um, it's quite a nice game, the vampires. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. Shall we move away from um, the admin game? Yeah. Okay, so the first proper game was We Are Zons, Smithy, against Mr. Mojo Rising's uh, <laughs> Kislev. Mojo. Yeah. Mojo. Mojo's Kislev. Was he originally Mojo, and it's two nil to the Kislev. After you know, I think was relatively surprising, as the Kislev have been beat up a lot this season. Well, yeah, only two people actually um, selected Mister Mojo Rising for the uh, for the uh, you know the betting comp. Oh wait a second, that's a point. Need to actually put those up. So go on, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do, do you want to say anything about it? I'm not sure whether I went for a draw. Not sure. <laughs> it's interesting result. Um, it's quite impressive. I can't remember exactly what we said last week, um, as I may have been a little bit drunk. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, we were both. We were. I remember us talking a lot about how. Um, well, I, I remember because. I, well, so you were I because I was just listening to it about five minutes ago, <laughs> uh, because I forgot to actually do the predictions on time. Um, so I I went back to watch it because it anyway. Yeah, don't need to explain that. Um, yep. But basically, we were talking about how you know, Kislev that are beaten up. Uh, a still higher TV than a full Amazon team that's actually, you know, not not even remotely beaten up, right? Yeah, it'd have been interesting to see what the um, what uh, thingies they had, what inducements they took. Like that, I was actually just looking on the dice rolls because I want to see if there was a wizard or you know 
or anything like that. I can't see anything of interest. No wizard, no bribes. Were they actually the same TV before this game? Oh, they were very close, actually. Yeah. The Arzons were 1740, Chicago Bolshoi was 1760. So, uh, yeah, the Kislev had, you know, had 11 players as well. Yeah. Could have easily gone wrong if they started losing some. It looks a little bit like a bit of um, Agi, uh, Agi 4 Leapery may have been involved. <laughs> I think you may well have um, been the edge, I think, because you've got to fancy the Zons for that game. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, you will do. Yeah. And both if, they again, if they played the game again, I would still go for the Zons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not unfair at all. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I like his Um And, the, yeah, the fact that Blitzer with the plus Adji was the one who scored both the touchdowns, you know, makes yeah. it pretty likely. Oh, and and yeah, the I fact think he said he, um, he caged up in the second half and just slowly advanced and scored when he was talking to me earlier. Oh, okay. I played him in the um, in the uh, B League mm -hmm. yesterday. No, it wasn't the B League. It was DVLA League yesterday. So yeah, cool. He was talking about it. He said he was quite pleased. So he, he turned us <laughs> he turned us on over in the first half. Scored against them really and then quickly, he and then slowly caged, caged up and slowly advanced and scored um, the second half. Yeah, mm. so it it shows the possession, uh, you know, stats, and it looks like uh, the Zons never left their half of the pitch, and the uh, the Kislev hardly were in their half were there in their half of the pitch for only one turn. So yeah, you know, of the of the ball That's ownership. Almost all of it was in the Zon's half. Yeah. Yeah, yep. it looks like you bossed the game a bit, yeah. Mm. Uh, the Zons did make three passes. I don't know if that was just you know, was that desperation? desperation. Or or was it or was it trying <laughs> or to vanity. or vanity passes, yeah, you know. Uh keep didn't go to anyone that was anywhere near leveling, so desperation, I think. Not anywhere near leveling, but the the catcher with guard and Aji desperately wants to level up, right? So doing bounty oh, yeah. passes on them, and the other one, the line woman with plus Aji has kick off return. So, you know, she <laughs> caught she caught the ball, did a bounty pass the other one, the other one bounty passed it back, then a bounty pass the other way, and then lost the ball. Is my <laughs> is my guess about how that first half yeah. went? But, yeah, it's only fourteen yards passing for three passes, so that's all quick passes. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey Toby! By the way, sorry, uh, Toby. What time is what time's your game, Toby? Just remind me. Sorry, carry on. You think? Oh, sorry. I think mm. the um, the actually four leap and it puts a lot of pressure on you, on your cage. If you you know they can leap in and it's just it's constant pressure. Yeah, especially with, with the, um... yeah the way that some people play, and I think Mister Mojo Rising is one of them that just tries to tries to put the pressure on with with Kislev as much as possible. You gotta do it sometimes. Yeah, for sure. It can be dangerous. When you've got a guarder. Yeah, it can be dangerous Guardian against Zons, Zons though, because they do have their own guard, right? And they do have their own killing skills. It's true. It depends on the makeup of the cage, I suppose. Yeah, if you can get your guard in on the, the side where the opposite side to where their guard is, you could still possibly get in. Mm. Depends uh, if they're fighting somewhere else as well, maybe. Yeah, a nice. Uh, a nice level up where the MVP landed. Yep. Very, very solid. On a, uh, exactly where he wants it. On a blitzer. So what is the first level you get a blitzer in a on a Kislev team? Block. Always block. Yeah. Never block. anything yeah. else. Yeah. Uh, he took mighty blow last time. Well, with one of them. With one of them, yeah. I mean, that's not even... I like... I. So there is... There are people... Uh, Rick Reckless is one of them who does take piling on before Mighty Blow. So yeah. so piling on does more, like affects the Kaz dice more than Mighty Blow does. So if yeah, you it also affects the rest of the team more. Because you're lying down. Yeah. But you've got jump up. So you're still kind, you still kind of have an effect, right? And you, you can choose not to pile on if you don't want to. If it's, if it's not safe for you to pile on, don't pile on all the time, right? But yeah. if you want to level someone yeah. quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like wrestle. I like wrestle on them. It depends. If they get that G4 especially, I like wrestle. 
The trouble with wrestling is it doesn't work well with, uh, you know, with uh, diving tackle, does it? Yeah. You know. No, no, but with the jump up, it's quite nice. Yeah, that's true. Do you know, so I, I, I would do that with one of them. I think. I think they normally go. You normally go wrestle on the linemen because they've still got the, the three plus leaps as well. Yeah, the, and the linemen, yeah. the linemen yeah. don't have many options except for wrestle, tackle, strip ball because because of their, you know, and maybe yeah. pro. And after wrestle, tackle, strip ball, you're kind of running out of good, really good skills for them. Yeah, Shadowing. I think if any of them got Nagy, I think I would pick wrestle for them. Yeah. With the lineman. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yep. Yeah. Um, but usually you end up picking the those skills before, you know, you get roll advice. Yeah. If you're if you're lucky, you get Nagy straight up. But yeah. No, it yeah. is it is indeed block, though. Yep. Block, Solid yeah. choice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was the only level for the game. And the only people that voted voted for that are Spoon and um, Mr. Mojo Rising himself. If I remember correctly, I went for that just due to my dislike of Amazons as much as anything. Yes, you did. It was purely <laughs> racism. And I, I said, I, I said, I'm not going. I'm going to go for for Amazons just to prove that I'm not a racist. Um, so yeah. <laughs> well, look how well that worked out. Yes, it didn't work out very well at all. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I'm bragging over random internet points. Yeah, random internet points based on whether you're racist or not. <laughs> yeah. Only against Amazons. Only against Amazons. And high elves. Yeah. And high elves. Mm. I'm pro high elf. You're pro high elf. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Very pro high elf. Very pro high elf. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Although they keep dying, so I should probably be less pro high elf. That puts you in the lead above me. Or it puts you in front of me, at least. For a little bit. For a little bit. how long it lasts. Although the real leader is Mr. Majorison, who is now on 21. He's doing so much better ever ever since he got away from that week where we were both voting for the same thing. Yeah. Although that was my best week, so I'm not going to complain too much. Okay, so next up is Disturbingly Rat-like against the Bootleg All-Stars. Bootleg Oysters, I almost said. Uh, It's a slightly different team. Yeah. And 2-0 to Disturbing Rat Like. Again, I would guess that this involves turning them over, right? Oh, it was Goblins, of course. Yeah, it was Goblins versus Skaven. Yeah, I forgot uh, about the Goblins. I just remember it's Skaven. not a great matchup for the Goblins. No, it's an awful matchup for the Goblins. Although yes. they, they did level up Ripoff. Although he's only got, nice. he's got three normals. If he gets another normal, is that firing you know, kind of territory? I think we've asked Flying Turtle that before, but I cannot remember what his answer is. No, I can't remember either. <laughs> um, I think I play them tomorrow. Oh, do I play them tomorrow night? Ah, cool. Should be fun. Yeah, um, yeah it should be a good game, yeah. I've got a couple of tackle pieces, so hopefully. Ooh, we've got a bot. Yeah. I'm going to... Ban user. Boom. Woo! Oh, but we were just becoming successful. We had a bot. That means that that's the first step to fame, isn't it? Oh, I've had loads of them then. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Technically famous. I, that, that's my second bot of the day. In wow. Fact. So I was streaming at lunchtime. Uh, anyway. Cool. Possibly third. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Should we have a look at what's actually gone off in this? Bloody yeah. hell. What does that mean? I've just looked at the stats between the two teams. Yeah. So, disturbingly rat like. Oh, okay. Armor breaks. Yeah. And the goblins caused 27. That's that's impressive armor breaking from the goblins. And especially when you look at the number of injuries the oh, rats took, which yeah. was too badly hurt. Uh, seven KOs. That's. Still below what you would think for 27 armor breaks. <laughs> yes. It is, yeah. You'd expect a few out, wouldn't you, with that? So 18 stuns. Yeah, yeah that's that's unlucky. I don't know whether or not it's because the rat's armor was rid. No, the rat's armor was 50 50. Wow. That's impressive. It's the injury rolls which were, which were you know, poor. Not... Yeah. 
well, full of goblins, they were poor, full of rats, they were amazing. I still don't really understand about the whole casualty injury dice in the get in this game. I feel like it changes. Oh, okay, sometimes, so I'm the, not going to go into it too much, but <laughs> yeah, the chainsaw did successfully activate seven times, so that is seven chainsawings alone. Yep. Uh, and they had three bribes, which all worked. But yeah, that's 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 sucky. Yeah, it's just really bad luck on the um, part of the goblins for actually injuring people. Yeah. Uh, I hope he doesn't get it tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, you might be on the bounce back. <laughs> yeah, I could be on the bounce back. <laughs> <laughs> no, God. Uh, it does always suck to be the receiver. It's just like, oh yeah, I've been unlucky for the past five games in a row. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, yeah. Go Dave, the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Yeah. I don't know. Have you been saving up dice for your next opponent? <laughs> no, nah, I haven't done too bad lately. I don't think. Ah. I've been doing a few passes. But I've been, I've been <laughs> Wait, playing against them. Um, yeah, I've been playing against Adji teams recently, though, so you, you don't pass as much. You you, you, you like uh, passing orcs, given the choice? Yeah, I would pass um, most turns if I could. Well, at least uh, twice and a half. Mm -hmm. I have, obviously, I have three Adjis now, so... Might as well make you... You're turning into the elf orcs, aren't you? But I'm trying to do one um, well, a little different team if I can, yeah. I do need some more guard. <laughs> I, I I do like the, the passing orc idea. I know uh, you know, I know another orc player in another league who basically actively tries to be top of the passing games. So like yeah. he's, he, he now I think he had an orc thrower with plus agility and accurate and strong arm, but wow. uh, and, and he was making the uh, the long passes as often as he could. Yeah, um, you know, it's just funny. It, it does surprise people. Yeah, exactly. And also, it makes up for the fact you can't actually move the thrower very far, so you can you can wave the ball at someone instead. Yeah, it does help. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it works. So anyway, uh, we got <laughs> yeah we got a level up on the rats. So dodgy a rat scored one of the touchdowns, and the tackle wrestle playness gave him two cas. So, uh, nice. in fact, those cows got, took him past his levelings. Uh, yeah. What do you give a wrestle tackle gutter runner? Uh, guesses? I would be tempted by leap. <laughs> leap? <laughs> that early? He's got an, oh God, he's got an Agi 5 one, actually, so no, no leap yet. Can they naturally pick Dauntless? Or... Yeah, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can pick Dauntless. Yeah, that's a much... I like Dauntless. That's a much better choice than Leap. Yes, it's a much more more acceptable choice. Uh, Dauntless than Leap. <laughs> if, if, if not Dauntless, then Strip Ball works as well. But yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah you could go. He's already got a Wrestle Strip Ball guy, though. Although that's now got a move up, so he's probably going to be coddled and hidden away on the sideline so he doesn't get hit. <clears throat> or you could roll 12. Is that what he's done? Yeah, he's rolled 12. Wow! Oh, oh God! <laughs> so well, I played them this year anyway, so so it's, it's yeah, not not yeah. a problem for you. But yeah, but yeah, that's a pretty dangerous piece then. Yeah. Um, Woofbark in my division, his rats. He's got a um, strength up horns frenzy gutter runner, which is oh, a nightmare. Underworld goblin then? No, because that would have been amazing. That is lethal. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah, that's quite an impressive player. I like it. Yeah, and will get better and better every level. So that you know that that gives him so many things that he can be great yeah. for. Until someone splats it. Yeah. Juggernaut, tackle, mighty blow, pom. That's what you know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I yeah, I quite like that. Mm -hmm. That's a nice level on Deserving Rat Life as well. Yeah. Cool. And did the goblins get a level they as got well? Two levels. They got the oh top. yeah, rip off, of course. Uh, and they got out for the Count Luther as well, just the standard goblin. Yeah. So uh Did he pick break tackle? Has he got break tackle, I think. He's already oh no, he hasn't got break tackle on that one. He's got break tackle on the other one. He's got yeah. but yeah, maybe break tackle is, is the 
The only remaining normal that would be worth... Or guard. Yeah. It doesn't have guard. It doesn't have guard. The other one does. But like, I really I'm not really that, that enamoured of of, uh, of guard on, on uh, goblins anyway, you know? Yeah. I'm not going to tell, no. I'd rather... I'll pick guard, uh, break tackle first. Yeah. I'd, oh, he's got levels unpicked. Does that mean what I yeah. think it means? He's one of the people that needs booing. There's two of them. Yeah, he's not He's not taking it. I think, uh, looking at the rest of his team, I don't know, with goblins, it could be that they're naturally recycling themselves by dying. But it could... I'm fairly sure there's probably some of that going on. I, 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 think, uh, I think he's a recycler, and I think... This is the point where if it's not a norm, where if it's not a double or or something interesting, uh, yeah. I think he's recycled one player. Looking at it, oh, okay, yeah, of course you can see on like um... It, um, meaty tug looks like he leveled up and never actually picked his level and then was fired without taking an, any sort of stat down or death. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I can see a second one actually. Yeah, there's two of them. Meaty Tug. So, Meaty Tug and um, Shark Gastrip Junior Junior. So, yeah, there's yeah. a couple of them that have been fired for recycling then. Cool. Most of them have been just natural recycling. As tends to happen with goblins. Yeah. But it, it still shows that he, he it still shows he thinks about it, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely worth doing. Yeah. Uh, so I think I think I've been, I've been running the first two now. <laughs> oh, that's the point. Ah, uh, that's fairly yeah. normal. Uh, uh, also, he does have exactly the right amount of money to buy a new troll. So you know, the stars they are aligning. I think we're going to see a new skill on him and rip off staying on board. Okay. I think he's far enough below the other teams that he can get most of the inducements he wants anyway. Oh, that's a good point. But no, I, I, I think it's about 200 between me and him, I think, roughly. Oh, if there's uh, 320 at the minute. Is it? Yep. <laughs> that's a lot oh. of bribes. Well, then, can't be then. I, I mean, it's 200 because he's got two level ups to do, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, so he might be a little bit lower. Mm hmm. Uh, so 280 then. 280. Yeah. So it leaves him 130 if he gets free bribes. So maybe if he sacks that and buys a new troll, drops him down by 80k, possibly a forward rip then as well. But I think we're skipping ahead a little bit, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're talking about inducements already. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, who actually voted for um, Disturbingly Rat Like? Surprisingly few people, considering it was a game against goblins. Yeah, in fact, more people <laughs> more people thought Flying Turtle would win than Grendrake. Yep. Wow. I think everyone's on the goblin hype train. You're one of them, though. To be fair. Oh, yeah, I know I am. <laughs> yeah. Now you, draw. You, you are draw. You are draw. Okay. Um. Well, I am not uh, on the goblin hype train. I, I, I think I have been in the past, but you know, yeah, yeah not 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 this week, not against rats. Um, so that's a point for me. And Fair enough. also, who is the other person? X -Cam. X Cam was the only other person. Wow, just me and yep. X Cam. That's that's um like oh against goblins. That's really interesting. Yeah, we had two draws, two rat win, and then three goblin win. Wow, which is quite impressive. I mean, even the bot thought thought that was pretty unlikely. Look at look at the odds of of uh, rat like winning. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Okay, uh, next one is yep. ten sixty six and all that against oh against Dave. Oh, you won against the uh, pro elves. Awesome. <laughs> I did, yeah. Yep. Knew there was a reason why you were on this week. <laughs> was, that... <laughs> was that why? Just coincidence. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a no, that's quite a scoreline to beat pro elves with orcs on as well. That's very impressive. Yeah, it was quite a game actually. It was good. It's quite a uh, an interesting game to watch. You watched it all the way through. Yeah. 
I um I got the ball first, mm-hmm. but I um I did a misclick. I think it was on my second turn. So I was um with a black hawk. I dodged him when I didn't mean to. So uh... obviously I lost the ball. Yeah. I got it back. I, I was say, you finally got it back I, at some point. Hmm. Well, I, yeah, I used the wizard for the next turn to get it back, but then he got it back and scored. Then I went up and, well, it, it was two all at half time. That's even more impressive. What, two all at <laughs> half time? Hang on. Yeah. yeah. He, he snaked on one of them. Uh, yeah. So yeah. It allowed me to get into my ability. Yeah. Then he, he received the ball on the last, in the second half, he received the ball, so I thought, well, I'm beat here. Yeah. Um, I did all right, and then he, he snaked, so I slowly caged um, right to the end, and then I had to do a, a go for it on the last turn to score. Mm-hmm. So I was quite pleased. He, nice. ma- he made a lot of uh, passes. <laughs> Got yeah. Six, yeah. six completions. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you. I've seen him with nine before. <laughs> uh, it went quite well. I did a nice surf on one of the moves as well. I was quite pleased with uh, my agility one. He dodged in and out of two players onto his player on the sideline with the ball. One dice and took him off. So I was quite pleased with that one. Mm-hmm. Cool. He still scored though. Because <laughs> <laughs> it went, the ball came in and went to one of our players. And it was a, I rolled a re-roll to catch it because obviously there was, he could have gone somewhere a little bit safe, but he mm-hmm. missed it. So he picked it up and scored. So it was a little bit of glory. He's probably not expecting Orcs to be doing that many dodges. He didn't, no, no. Yeah. It was, it was, you know, it's it like two pluses, three pluses it was. So it wasn't, and I had a re-roll in hand for it. Yeah, it's one of the interesting things about playing, you know, elves versus when you play like Kemri, you get that mindset yeah. of like, I need Agi four to be dodging anywhere, and when you're Kemri, you're like, oh yeah, I can dodge with Agi two, it's fine, you know, you just you just go for it. And if I have to, I'll have to. If you have to, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to forget that actually, you know, other people can do things too. That just because it's not a two plus, it yeah. doesn't mean it's impossible. It feels like that sometimes, but yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Even two pluses feel impossible sometimes, though. A lot of the time, <laughs> on bad days. <laughs> <laughs> not many casualties either. No, really. I'm surprised. I, you know, considering you won, I kind of assumed the orcs would win by by murder, but literally only won. Yeah, I, you I'm out agitated really... them. I'm not killing many um, AG teams at the moment at all this mm-hmm. year. I think when I played Rats like um, Disturb Me Rat Lake, I didn't kill many there. Mm-hmm. I was a bit like Flying Turtle with the Goblins. I, the Rats I are living a charmed life. No results. Yeah, I just mm. got no result at all. But um, it was quite a good game. That's why I do a lot of passing to get out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't taking them out, you know? Mm-hmm. Till near the end, near the end, I took a few out. But so all... if you get a double on any of these agi up guys, you're going catch then. <laughs> <laughs> Lean into it well, fully. My throw's dead now, so uh... I've um, I've upgraded my lamb and I've got agility. I'll give him sure hands. Yeah, so you're nice. you, yeah. That's what you I don't kind need of the thrower. Good Brilliant. choice, yeah. I just thought it was, you know, I'd, I'd lost the thrower. So I thought I'd just give him it. I, I think, think I've been um... saying bad things about the thrower on this on the stream for a while. <laughs> I like my thrower. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. I'm, I'm not as anti the thrower, but um, but <laughs> as soon as you've got an anti up player who's yeah, not yeah. who's not a thrower, you know, you know it becomes... yeah, you're saving up a... for a um, you're saving up for the reroll then. Yeah, that's my next one. I would, I would think definitely. Yeah, yeah. it's um one of the um cause he's still movement five, but he's armor nine, so he's sort of better. Yeah, you know, you know, he's a bit more resilient. Yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah. He's not. I've seen one person um on his um thrower. He um he has a few skills on it, and he chose um dump off. <laughs> Which, oh, I like how optimistic playing, that is. I remember when I was playing a game before and I had my 
thrower in the cage, obviously, mm. and I'd buy two Aji ones at the back. Mm. So that he was, he lost the ball. There was a good chance one of my Aji's would catch it. Yeah. And, and you're thinking in that situation, I could just jump off to one of the Aji ones. Mm. So, um, I didn't discount it. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I will pick it up. Steel. Yeah. It, yeah. Use it to run up. It marked two players with the thrower, then just throw the ball black back to one of his blitzers that had actually four. I mean it, run off with it. Even if you don't have nerves of steel, it's like a fifty fifty to just keep yeah. the, keep the ball when you're being blitzed, right? It's it, it's yeah. Kind of good. Is it worth the cost? Hmm. Uh. It could be for the shock value and the amount of swearing that you might get through the chat. When, I mean, uh, you use it to really I, pull off something dodgy against someone. You might tilt your opponent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I like I like dark elf runners because of dump off, but I'm not sure. It's, it's one of those skills that I'm not sure I'd ever get round taking. I always wanted to try that the Bretonian thing of giving all the knights dump off and nerves of steel and just have them. Passing it around to each other whenever they get punched uh, and they're not mattering, but it just yeah. it never really worked out like that. I know, it just um, end up in them getting punched and removed until you've got none left. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I seen um, it was Zunk actually. Um, I was watching the game and he had it on his throw. Oh, and right. he successfully used it. He Ooh. dumped off to um, one of his players. Yeah, it, it I really if he uh, got hassled into doing it by the stream. Uh, no, I don't. He might have done. Yeah, yeah. Don't know. I mean, it really helps they come with pass, so at least you're getting yeah. to re-roll it in the other person's turn, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Anything yeah. anything to keep control of the ball when you're orcs, as opposed to it being on the floor against elves or whatever, I guess. Oh, it's definitely better. <clears throat> so, your troll leveled up. What did you give him? He's already got block, so... God? Did you roll a double? God. God. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. Obviously, starting to get. I that. need guard. I need guard in the team anyway. So, like, yeah, definitely. Orcs Agreed. needed to survive against the the chaos kill teams, don't they? Basically, yeah. You know, yeah. Being being able to out strength and out guard. Yeah, I mean, I've got Kemri coming up and chaos coming mm -hmm. up. So, guard was a good choice for it. Yeah, definitely a solid choice. No more tackle. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, one of you get a double somewhere, it'll be, be guard, I think, if I can get it. Mm -hmm. And the black arc, definitely. Yeah. Nice. And your opponent got two levels as well, I think. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. 1066 and all that. Got all that. A level on a catcher. All the matchy fives. Oh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous how many 11s he's rolling. Yeah, he's he's not rolled another, has he? That would be, you know. I don't know. Uh, right. I hope. I hope not. I'm not actually in his division, so it doesn't matter too no. much. Uh, well, so there is a plus the plus movement dodge wrestle catcher, Lux Lux the MVP to level up. It better not have another move up. <laughs> uh, well, if it if it's not another move up, it's going to be sprint, I guess. I'd rather have sidestep. I think. Oh, okay. Sidestep's more useful in other situations, and it still makes the one turning easier as well. Mm -hmm. I guess with pro elves, you need you need your players to be useful all the time, so you can't just be building a one turner. Hey, Supra. Uh, hey, Supra. You wait, have sadly. Your game was first, and it wasn't really a game, so it wasn't didn't take very long, I'm afraid. <laughs> Although. Uh, Spoon definitely did commiserate with you while I may have been less uh, what's the word? Bothered. <laughs> <laughs> like it's free, word. <laughs> it, it, it's free free SPP. You can't complain that much about where it lands. Uh, oh, but there's so many places that it would have been really nice. Yeah, but he could have also, you know, actively done something to 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 fix that. Fair anyway. Enough. All right, so the other and the other level was a catcher who only has dodge, so I assume he's getting block or or wrestle. Or wrestle. And he met, you know. Yeah. He basically he basically you know fed the that one. I think that yeah. one would be wrestle be because wrestling. he's yeah he's got one with yeah. block and he's got a guard one who should also be getting block. 
So that one should be Wrestle, I would guess, if he's going two and two. No, it's Block. Nope. Alright, fair enough. So he's got guys. And and he's given strip to the one with just movement up. So he's now a wrestle okay. stripper. I don't hate that. So he's obviously the other one, the other plus movement one is more of the of the possibly one turning. I don't know. Well, well I, don't I know. suppose it's got the agility up, doesn't it? They've so. both only got two skills left now though. So they're not neither of them are gonna be built purely for one turning by the looks of it. No, but it makes them more useful players all round. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you want you want your players to live when you're pro elves as well, don't you? Well, unless your name's Doctor Hep. Yeah. Then you're not quite so bothered about whether they live. I mean, I think he still cared a little bit deep down inside. He just didn't, didn't <laughs> say doesn't say it out loud. I'm not sure. I've seen him play a few times now. <laughs> okay. The marking. So I guess would I be right in in thinking? That uh, Disco Dave betted for himself this week. No. Yeah, three in a row. <laughs> of all the bright. ones to get wrong, I don't mind. <laughs> I think the people that voted for XCAM are the three of us that are on stream. Everyone else voted for the, you, Disco Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that's excellent okay that's amazing it is indeed uh, it's, it's also in the game I, am, I made a mistake as well I made another mistake two mistakes I made in the game mm -hmm. and, and the second one was I scored my second touchdown in the, in the first half and I thought it was 10-8 oh no <laughs> uh... I, just I was distracted I just didn't and it was 10-7 and I, I set up for a one turn and to stop them one turning, mm -hmm. and I put everything in the middle, all grouped, and it was two turns. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed quite that. Dropped him off. He still, he did, he had to do some work, to, um, two, three plus dodges to um, score, but he got it. <laughs> but, <laughs> the classic. That is, that's so harsh. Oh, pain. No, it's my own fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so, if I just done X-Cam, I think I've done X-Cam. Yeah. Uh, Rob Top, yes. Mojo Rising. Mojo Rising. And that leaves Supra. Supra, Rob Top, x -Cam. Yeah, that's what I've got. Cool. All right. Um, Mojo Rising is, is storming off into the lead now, isn't he? Three points he ahead of x -Cam. Too well. Yeah. He should be the recappers. Yeah. <laughs> Get him on. Yeah. Tell us how to vote. Maybe we should just wait until he votes and then and then just copy him. Wait, I think he's voting already this week. We can we can just copy has him. Has he? Mm. Ooh, he has. Oh yeah, definitely cursing him. <laughs> All right. So oh, well, it looks like, uh, yeah. Next game. We'll go into that later. Next game was Barkengrad versus Malekith Kink. And uh, Malekith Kink win, which I think was a surprise for you, at least. Uh, they, oh, they had Hubris. I like Hubris. Although, unfortunately, Hubris stole the MVP. Oh. Oops, I just realised I'm not showing what, what was on the screen. Lol. <laughs> what? I was looking at stuff and going, oh, um... But Barking, it looks like Regen was not working well today. So one werewolf gets uh, movement busted. One white got badly hurt. A ghoul got MNG. Obviously, that's not Regen related. And two zombies both out, one of them with a niggle. Whereas Hubris was the only player to be removed <laughs> from the Dark Elves. Well, you know, to be cast, I should say, actually, because there could have been yeah. could have been lots of KOs. Wow, that's that's some uh, Kaz rolls, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Um, I imagine Sigrade oh, wow. is going to be, uh, you know, complaining a little bit. Uh, I imagine he would have already complained. Yeah, because actually, we're going to Salt Lake. Uh... <laughs> yeah. 
the armor breaks weren't even that different. Like 11 to Bark and Grad, 14 to Malekith Kink, but no injuries for Bark and Grad. So the Malekith Kink Kaz was self self caused, whereas all the Kazes on the uh, on the uh, Necro. Yeah, it's impressive how many players he managed to get rid of. Yeah, and four failed regens, it says here. How does oh. that work? Because only what there's more than four injuries, aren't there? What? Uh, oh no, no, that's right, that's five. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that is right. So there, so in the Kaz for Bark and Grad, it shows seven. There are five remaining on the on the field, and one of them wasn't a regen player. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, got it. So two of them Makes regened. Sense. So the regen oh, wasn't. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Of course. Mm, yeah. The ghouls always get it. Mm, I don't see a bribe either. I don't know if there was fouling. But yeah, that's pretty impressive. Hey, Dimmy, how are you? Pretty good guy. Yeah. Uh, shame Hubris stole the MVP. No, yeah. no levels for uh, the Necro, but four... Kind of, for Malekith Kink. Uh, one of them's Hubris, so I guess that doesn't count. I don't think he should be leveling up. Uh, no. Especially, I'm sure he should have 176 SPP already, right? Is that, no, he's actually he's not even that high. Uh, no. But the plus Adji Hairy Mary, she leveled up. <laughs> so what do you give a plus Adji Elf? I think you... you leap? Yeah, <laughs> I'd, gi I'd give a Leap. I'd probably give her tackle first. Maybe tackle first, but she's so already she's got something to use once she leaps. But she's already double. She's already hitting. You know, she's already getting two dice, right? At the very least, because she's frenzying. Assuming the first one isn't a, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, oh, yeah, frenzy as well. Yeah, well, yeah, because yeah, they they start with yeah. frenzy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Before yeah. We... That that's why quite a lot of people make make them leaping sackers is because. You know, your one dice is now a kind of a two dice as long as the first one isn't isn't bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at this level, though, you're probably going to find at least one guard somewhere around the cage. Yeah. So when you leap in, you're going to be going into two red dice potentially. Not sure about that one. Um, but I haven't a, got much experience of doing that with um, witch elves. It's I normally all, get attacked myself. It's also great for uh, you know. Um, surfing people because you can leap behind where they think they're safe and then surf them from a conf confusing angle, from a surprising angle. Anyway, yeah, yeah I've, had that. I've had that done to me before. It's really good. Yeah, yeah the, leap, the leap and coming to a different angle that you know you don't expect. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the it's one of is well. it's really it's good, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and recovery as well. That's true. Uh, but yeah, ta tackles okay. But I'd, like the other ones, wrestle and mighty blow. So tackle. Will go better together with that. I don't know. Maybe sidestep to keep keep the Agi Five alive as well is a good choice. Yeah. All of those I don't mind. Uh, a Blitzer leveled up as well. Yep. Which obviously will be. It's going to be dodge. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. Dodge. I'm dodge. looking at Hubris again. Looking at all of the skills, just like oh, <laughs> all sorts of things with that. No, Blitzer. Uh, dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Dodge. And also a Wrestle Lineman, who I assume dodge. is going to get dodge as well, right? Uh, unless he goes kick. Oh, no, he's got kick. Or, he dodge. or tackle. Wrestle tackle's a good combination, and no one else has tackle yet. Yeah, I've got tackle on that, then. Hmm. I mean, either, either's not bad. Uh, while we're looking yeah, at Bark and Grad, should we see if they... Uh, so, they have a new werewolf, which... So, that movement busted one has gone. And the niggle's been fired as well. What was, it, what was the other injury? So, we're still on the... Um thingy screen at the moment on the rebel.net one. Oh wait, did I not? That should work. There we are. Yeah, see? Oh. Yeah. Uh, you might be in a little bit behind. I might be behind. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yep. Fair enough. Yep. Oh, I'm massively behind. Vampire wolf, Dimmy. Yeah, it's terrifying. Uh, I think, did the other one have Mighty Blow at some point as well, before it, it was killed, and then it was bought again, and then it's killed, been killed again? 
I think he's lost quite a few of the other ones. Yeah. Um, that's his fourth wolf that's there at the moment, I think. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's Kenzie. Oh, Kenzie Free's there. So, yeah, he'll be on Kenzie 4. Yeah. Where's the other? Where's Saxon? It's been. He's not had any doubles on them. He had a blodge one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then a block, then an unskilled one, then a block one. Mm -hmm. So it's just churning through the not so good wolf each time. Which I suppose if you've got to lose a wolf, yeah, why you, not that one? Not not the not the plus strength <laughs> not plus agile. Yeah. yeah, the vampire one's been there for almost the whole life of the team, I, but not quite. So maybe maybe not uh, that. You know. Uh, and Malisketh Gink, let's have a look. Have uh, taken strip ball on the plus agi witch. Fair enough. Mm. And okay. dodge unsurprisingly on both the other two. I would have liked to have seen one tackle there. I think. Yeah, Just by now none on the team. I mean, you know, when you choose to make a team that's entirely blodge and rog, you got to think maybe there's maybe there's a reason to have tackle. Yeah, maybe there's other people that will do this. Yeah. Um, maybe there are some teams like Amazons who just start like that. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Have a quick look at... So, he's got Kislev next. Mm. Then Nurgle. So, he doesn't really need tackle for the Nurgle. Then he's got Rats. He probably needs tackle for the Rats. Uh... Then he's got chaos, so yeah, he needs it probably a little bit for the Kislev and quite a lot for the rats. But the other two games is Nurgle and Chaos, so he doesn't need him quite as much there. Mm -hmm. And there were only two people who thought that uh, Malekith Kink would win, and those were me. Hooray! It wasn't me, uh... <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> well done. Everyone uh, wrong, but you know, uh, you know, what's what's it? Uh, unlucky yeah, in company. something or other, lucky in something else. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're saving your luck for the for the uh, for the games, obviously. I must be. Yeah, it's any answer. Passing orcs, you might need it. Yeah, you will. Uh, but the only other person who got it right was Rob Top. So just me and Rob. That's yeah. kind of no. Amazon Rob. Wait, oh yeah, I was going to say it's Necromantic Rob who doesn't play Necromantic. Yeah, he plays Amazons. Yep, that's fine. It does make sense. Well, maybe he knows more about them because he plays them because he's called himself Necromantic Rob. You think? Uh, so he sees the weakness that Malekith Kink were going to get to. Uh, yeah. What's it? Okay, so Wait. the next game though is uh, Camera Zimmer's Things You Do Not Want against the Drudici Violets. Uh, and it's a uh, one-one draw. Yay! I got one. Oh, Ra, well done. And you're the only person who got that one as well. <sighs> on this so this is actually one where in the, on last week's stream, the bot hadn't rolled. So what Spoon said was he <laughs> he was going for a draw for this game. And yeah. then, and then when it came, when when we rolled the bot, you actually clicked one of the two teams, didn't you? Yep, I did. <laughs> it's my own fault for not going back and actually listening to the stream and yeah. putting my correct results on. You both are Camry. I think I was doing it while I was at work, um, because that's when I rolled the um, prediction bit, mm -hmm. and just going. Uh, I should be doing this, but click, 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 click. Yeah, yeah. Just, just using them more quickly then. Thinking, I probably would have gone for those ones. But it meant you you made a lot more um, making a choice for one rather than, uh, you know, just... Humming and ahhing. Rather than picking draws. You, like, from, yeah. we were, when we were kind of listening back to the stream just before the beginning there, you made a lot of, of uh, that's going to be a draw choices. That when you're, when you're going through teams and picking one, you always don't do. You just go, that one, that one, or that one. Yep. Oh, that one. Yep. No sitting on the fence when you're just sat there doing it quickly. Yeah. Um, but anyway, things you do not want. Got one Kaz, which doesn't sound that great. Uh, MVP. Made a pass. M yeah, made a pass. 
<laughs> Made a pass. Which is always fun. Who who caught who caught it? I don't understand. Uh, skeleton. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because the agility up one made the pass. So, yeah. yeah. So he but he threw it to a uh, to an Actually agility two player, or maybe he threw it to a tomb guardian. You don't know. Stranger things have happened. I can tell you that the catch was made by <laughs> abusing the dice logs to find out who caught it. I mean, it's not abusing. So bad no, dice, bad dice um, was the one who actually caught it. A zero star player point skeleton. Nice. Must have been like a vanity pass on turn eight when he didn't have a chance of scoring, I guess. I would assume so. It's one of the two. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been desperation move that got. Well, he, well, no, because he because the um, that that player didn't get any anything out any other interesting dice rolls, right? Yeah. Where was it? Ah, fair enough. Yeah, bad that dice. Was oh, actually, that's not true. He 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 made the catch and then he failed a GFI. So that that is that is last minute desperation trying to cross the goal line. If ever I <laughs> if ever I saw it, actually, yep. And then failed failed the injury, failed the armor roll. Oh no! No way! That's not there. No, that can't be right. I think he got punched three times. That's what yeah. actually happened. The the elves look like they failed quite a few dodges or surfs. Yeah, quite a few dodges on their part because well, the Camry only hurt one of them. However, five of them got injured. Ah, uh, yes, and a strength <laughs> and a strength bust on wrestle dodge lineman. Oh well, he's gone. I mean, they're at ten players anyway, right? Is it maybe not worth holding on to him? I think I'd just fire him. You just um, fire him. Get him out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there were there were two level ups though. One of them was a lineman who made who obviously got MVP previously, and I assume got something boring. Uh, yeah, probably block over wrestle. Yeah, or maybe dodge first. You never know. Uh, and okay, so here we have a blodge agi up guard step blitzer. What do you give the blitzer who already almost has everything? Leap. Leap. <laughs> uh, leaping the guard would be fun, but then he hasn't got anything else to leap in afterwards, so it's not quite as good. I mean, uh, it's, it'll be a two plus leap, right? So you could do it yeah. and then. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't hate it. No, I, I like it just for fun recovery shenanigans and stuff like that as well. Yeah. They just give you more options with the leap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could go Fen to be really annoying with the sidestep. But that's probably not an optimal one. Uh, he's got plenty of tackle on this team, so he probably doesn't need any more of that. Actually, I, I quite like Fend. I, I, you know, yeah. as a guarder, that would that will keep that might keep him alive a li that little bit longer, right? Yeah, and it's just really, really irritating, making and, people tilt. Yeah. Uh, so he actually went for. Oh, he's not taking them. Yep, he's one of the ones that hasn't taken them. No, he's taken one. Uh, oh yes, he took the um, block. Does that mean oh, does that mean it's something exciting? Or does that mean it's just hard to decide? And he's waiting to yeah. hear hear our expert opinion. Oh God, it, surely he's listened to enough of these to not wait for that. <laughs> I would have thought everyone's learnt that by now. Okay, so if we're going to be serious about it, the options are yep. fend for living longer. Tackle or diving tackle for general being irritating, sidestepping, blodging, dark elf yeah. play. Shenanigans. Or Leap if you want to live for less time but be more glorious while yeah. you do live. Or crazy leaping. Yeah. Is that basically it? I think those are the best ones. Uh, if he gets a move up, obviously he takes that. Strength up, yeah. Adji up, yeah. So any stat would do. Adji six? Oh, it'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> I like the idea of... Huh? 
You'd rather have Leap. Oh. I'd rather have Leap than Agi 6 as well. Yeah, like all the things that Agi 6 does, kind like so the dodging that Agi 6 does is kind of worse than just leaping. It's true. And leaping sometimes will get you over a barrier of players that you, you can't do anything else with, right? Oh, but can yeah, you, you, can, then you, can, you can go and put the Guardian where you want, can't you? Yeah. yeah. You can. I quite I do like Leap. I do, th and I do think you know if you're going to be dark elves and have like two leapers. This I'm is... thinking of leap on one of my orcs. <laughs> my um, blood orc, my blood orc. If I get yeah, um, he's got agility. He can have leap, can't he? Yeah, it'll be just yeah. like just like a war dancer. Yep, that's my next uh... one. I'm going for. <laughs> yeah, just gotta get double. Just roll that double. It'd be brilliant. Nobody's <laughs> getting leap. I'm telling you, he's getting leap. <laughs> Be majestic. <laughs> See him flying through the air, soaring like an eagle. I mean, at least, at least, unlike war dancers, he's not going to fall on his face and die. So you know, if he falls on his face, well, he probably won't die. Yeah, he's not far off his next, um, his next level up. I don't think he's far off at all. He was one SPP. I remember looking. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. So right. hopefully it'll be leap. Yeah, that would be amazing. I have to try and remember that for next time. I will have to. I will have to clip if, if they level up. It'll just be leap. It's got to be leap. Yeah. Can we ask? Can we ask the admins to roll it back and let you roll again if it's not double? I think. Oh, we do. that'd be nice. Yeah. Don't <laughs> think they'll do that. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> Sadly, unfortunately, um, there might have been leaping orcs before. Uh, yeah. So. Why not? Um, I'm excited about the idea of his um, Blitzer, seeing what he actually got. Yeah. So, uh, I haven't added the one to Disco Dave, so that's... I need to give him the one. Nice. There we go. The Boom. only one. The only one. Well, you know, I think yeah. I've only got one. I think Spoon's only got one today. I've got yeah. two. Yeah. I'm, I'm back on standard form. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know... Seven games on average, you're you're gonna get two of them, right? So yeah. one is not bad variation from that. No, zero's not great. No, but it's still still not that big a you know not that big a difference, right? Yeah, that's fair. Pretty good. Uh, that's it, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, and so the last game was the Chaos Black Night Nightmares Michaelis against the Caladrian Crusaders. Um, and you actually voted for the Chaos Knight Black Nightmares? Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Someone else did as well. Nicholas did. He's Nicholas you know, did. Yeah. And X can vote for a draw. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I went for a draw on the actual stream, didn't I? Uh, I'm not sure. I, no, I think you started off with a stream and then I... Uh, with a draw. And a draw. Round. And I talked you into, you know, uh, into betting for Nicholas... Because I can't remember why, but you know, yeah. I don't think he's going to lose every game this season. He's going to win. That somewhere. was that was basically your logic, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's still my logic. Mm -hmm. I'll be voting for him again. He did so manage carrying to carrying on with the kiss of death. Yeah, well, he did manage to niggle the plus agi plus movement pestigor. So that's a win for Th the rest that's, of the league. That's you know, yeah. That, if depending on your way of playing, that's pretty cool. Um, that's absolutely, yeah. No, I went for them to win though. <laughs> I got that one right. Yeah, there you go. See, two nice. two in a week. That's Two in a row. Yeah. Uh, and a rotter leveled through a random Kaz. Oh. Um, where, actually, so Chaos Black Nightmares didn't receive any damage at all. It's not a terrible uh, outcome. Although I would like to yeah. see the, the movement for Minotaur murdered. Uh, and the player that, well, we're we're dubious about got the MVP. I mean, you need to narrow it down. Uh, the extra <laughs> arms kick off. The dead beast man. Yeah. He's, uh, so he's... No, I was going to say, you say that we're dubious about them. Most of the ones we were dubious about have died. Yeah, you're right. That kind of helps. Um, uh, but... It's cold him into an efficient, streamlined team. Yeah. Oh, no. One of them was just missing a game. The two head strip ball guy still like, there. Two head strip ball's not the worst thing in the world. You know, they're getting two dice on most things oh, when they're blitzing. Situational. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The it's the niggle I don't like. 
Yeah. And it will well, be much better when he actually gets block or wrestle. Wrestle, I assume. I would assume so. Um, we'll have to see. He's still 30k away from being able to replace the monitor. I don't think he's doing it. You don't think he's doing it? You think no. he's going to keep him just to just yep. to annoy me? Yeah, I don't think it's just to annoy you, yeah. sadly. <laughs> I, I would be fully in favour of that what? particular reasoning. But, the, wo- um, the world doesn't revolve around me. How dare you suggest such yeah. a thing? I, I would be very, very much in favour of if that was his reasoning. If he came on and put down that that's why he's not doing it, I'd love it. But yeah, I don't think it is. I think he just likes his Minotaur. Yeah. He made uh, seven going for it with the Minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, yes. Dedicated. Not a single failure. Uh, oh. Not one. Not one. Uh, <laughs> but he did loner something, so it could be that one of them failed and he loner re rolled it into success. I think the way the dice log is, it just shows the. The after re roll effect, not the before, but I'm not entirely oh, sure. He about rolled that. a lot of skulls with the Minotaur as well. He needs, he needs to go for him, he's moving four. He needs going for his. Yeah. 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 So, of of those um, seven going for it, at least four of them wouldn't have happened if he'd have still been minus, if he'd still been movement five, right? Yeah. 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 He made 14 blocks with the Minotaur. Well, that's good. At least he's using Two dice. Yeah. Only one of them was a double skull. Which he re- that was the re-roll. Okay, Which so that's the loner. Re-roll, yeah. And he re-rolled it into but double pow. Yeah. So yeah, he's getting good use out of him still. Solid player. What's he managed to get? What's oh that? he got thirteen blocks. I got it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What what why what did you think you would like? I just missed I just miscounted because I counted the number of block dice he rolled. He rolled twenty eight block dice. But he actually oh. re-rolled one of them. Yeah. Which is why he's got the 14, essentially. Oh, I see, yeah. he also failed three wild animals. Yeah. So he couldn't have done 14 blocks. Yeah. Uh, frenzy, yeah. actually, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I think I'd be, I'd be blitzing with some other players to try and level them up. He seems to be just yeah. blitzing mainly with the minor. He's got claw, he's got mighty blow. I don't know, yeah, a lot. Like, okay. Yeah. It's movement busted. I'll yeah. be going on with the players to blitz with. I mean, he could have got into contact and then just been punching, right? He didn't need to be blitzing every turn. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah, Nurgles. The Nurgle, they're not going to disconnect a lot. Yeah. But ah. And he passed all his foul appearance as well. But anyway, perhaps unsurprising. Yeah, foul appearance is sometimes a fake skill. Uh, I think I think they did lose. They did fail some of the foul appearances, but just none of them on the on the minor tools hits. Fair enough. No. Uh, I'm guessing we're getting like block or wrestle on the rotter. He's got one dirty player. I think two dirty players is a good idea. I would not argue with it. Um, But I don't mind block or wrestle. He has gone for uh, Jonas Mulder is a wrestle now. Yep. Fair enough. It's a nice looking team, really. Don't really need to go anywhere. Uh, He's got that extra Nurgle warrior back now, so that's always nice. Mm Mm-hmm. Although it's starting on zero star player points again, it's going to be painful to get him leveled again. That niggle's going to be painful as well, isn't it? Yeah. I... Like, you can't fire him. <sighs> Can you? Mm. No, you can't. I suppose it depends. I mean, you just can't fire him at all. I'd consider giving him foul appearance, in fact, as a way of hoping that you mitigate the, the, the niggle. Yeah, maybe. Uh, he is eight points away from top. Mm-hmm. So mm, it's dubious as to where, whether or not he can get into like playoffs or anything or get promoted. So I don't know whether or not you just fire it now and just try and level up another one, maybe. Oh, I see. Yeah, interesting idea. Get rid of it before he steals if more SPP. We're in an eternal league, so it's going to die at some point. And while he's there, you're going to be tempted to always carry on him. And if you're not too bothered about the wins or losses at that point, because you're still trying to level people, maybe. 
there's probably an argument there. I'm not sure whether it's necessarily a good one. But mm. worth a go. I definitely need to think about it anyway. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, as much as I hate Niggles, that player is is good. Yeah, is it really is really good. good. And like uh, nothing else is particularly, you know. There's no other ball carrier setup or anything there. Yeah. So he's, maybe keep hold of him until like he's taking he's taking long enough he's taking long enough to replace the last pestigal killer, right? So yeah, um, maybe when Artemena two levels up a couple of times mm -hmm. gets blocked, next level gets sure hands, then maybe think about firing him. Wasn't he? Re was he replacing a wrestler as well? Uh, possibly. I can't remember anymore. Mm. Uh, can I have a quick look there? So yeah, I mean, but it's you know, it's not a, it's not a bad plan to have a ball carrier, Artemis a killer, and a wrestler. Was block and tackle, and the other one had a double armor down and had just block. Okay. So he wasn't replacing a wrestler with it. Okay, no. fine. All right. Um. Yeah. And that's it, right? That's all the games we've looked at. That's all the games. We've moved through them. Okay. Um, uh, for us, a rapid pace. That that puts Eldarin up in equal place with, with Cygrade. It's really crunched up that division, hasn't it? Yeah. It's quite tight. I think it's the top eight, isn't it? A quite close. Top eight? No. It's the top ten uh, within ten. four points of each other. Yeah. It's quite tight. Four games to go. It's quite tight. If You could go down to top 11 if you go five points out. Yeah. And yeah, Project Angel is on Project Angel's on nine points and he's only eight points behind top and he's twelfth. Which is crazy. Really close that one. I think I think Project Angel is is too far to be to be, you know I think he is too far to be out. But he's not too far out to be potentially challenging for like promotion. If he Oh wants yeah, that. yeah. Promotion but you know, yeah. Promotion is like what top five roughly, mm. yeah, give like or it. take a bit. So if he's after that, it's not impossible for him to get there if he wins but, out. You know, Gren Drake is five points behind top. Yeah. So you know that's that's less than two games yeah. of of to overtake, and there's four games left. Could easily yep. be done. This could all change. Yeah. We could have the goblin win. Uh, who's who's actually? Don't be saying that. I'm obviously voting against you because you're on the stream with us. Um, it, well, I've, got, um, I've got goblins next week. Then mm -hmm. Zons, Chaos, and Kemri. That's my four games. It is worth pointing out that the two leaders, Bark and Grad, and uh, the Violets, are actually both getting. Um, rest weeks in the next two weeks so they neither of them have had their their uh, oh, admin week yeah so yeah could be big so it's gonna be hard to is that that's basically they're both getting a free win a week that the other players have had that the other players probably have had yeah just the chicago bullshit and um and we are zons who haven't had their admin games other than those two which puts them in stronger positions as well. Mm -hmm. Puts the Kislev, they're only two points back. Yeah. In the top two, well, the Amazons well, are free. Yeah, it does really, yeah. Yeah, they're guaranteed one more win. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. If they win uh, 12, the next three. I have to see how it goes. Mm. Mm. It could be one of the few times that having that last week bye week for, that the Zons have got, it could be quite interesting. As you're guaranteed a win on the last week. Yeah. Okay, but are we gonna we're gonna talk about next week Sorry. first, right? Yeah, let's do that. So Bark and Grad is uh get, has got his um uh you know admin win Recuperation next week. Recuperation week. Recuperation yep. week, which he will need because his ghoul is out. Yeah. Um, and could also probably do with one of those MVPs. And also could do with the money. Uh yeah. To replace players because he's savings. he's got eleven. Is it worth firing a zombie to in the, you know to try and get an MVP to be more likely to land on someone good? So he's got twelve at the moment, I think. 
I don't, I don't, I don't think there's anyone that's really that um, that would be that much better at receiving an. I don't AMA. think he could afford to fire both the zombies that are on zero. Unfortunately, I don't think. But yeah, but there's no one who's like, oh my god, this person needs MVP. No, it's nice maybe to get the, the werewolf. flesh golem. Werewolf. Werewolf. The flesh golem that's on twelve star player points. Mm-hmm. Could really do with that because they don't level quick at all. Oh, uh, wait a second. Did I did I actually give the points for that last game? Uh, probably not. Um, that's most of you guys have got that one. Yeah, Our no, I didn't do that. Nicholas and uh, Xcam. We didn't get that one. Uh, yeah, I might fire a zombie. You can probably afford. Mm. Maybe. Not sure. Not sure on that one, actually. I don't think I would. I think I'd, I'd keep it. It need the money. Yeah, that's not unfair. Because it could probably do with going up to 13, maybe. Which, if he fires one, that means he's got to buy two. Yeah. That's not unreasonable. Uh, what's our next match? Uh, so, it is, he says, um, oh, I can do it this way, can't I? There we go. 1066 and all that versus Against... things you do not want, which should be exciting. So, what's the TV like? Uh, 1810 Camry and 1640 Elves. Uh, the Elves are missing person, but, so the Elves are just going to be on 11. Uh, so they're going to be getting, what, 170k? So they'll be getting a wizard. I would say uh, things you do not want have 10k that they can burn, but that won't stop the elves from getting a wizard, sadly. Yeah, I've got to fancy the the elves on that one. If they get a wizard. Yeah. So just dance around. If, uh, it depends. If there's no elves left, which I'm guessing well, is what the Kemri is going to be going for. Kemri game plan. Yeah, yeah. Remove the elves and kick the ones that remain. They've almost got a bench. This, you know, this this is this is so close to having a bench for for pro elves. Actually, having yeah. eleven players. They've got twelve. Just ones missed next game. Yeah. It's quite time. good. The skeletons are quite hittable as well. They're on each seven. I'm a seven, so yeah, but he's got. He'll be, able to, he'll be able to target them. But he's got. Th- but the uh, Kemri have thirteen players, so yeah. yeah, yeah, and some guard knocking around as well, which makes it a bit more difficult. Mm. And you know, a wall of strength, of strength five in the way. Yep, a couple of tackle, plenty of mighty blow floating around. Eh, not going to be an easy one for the pros necessarily. Yeah. Also, you know, go. yeah, go on. Yeah, I'm going to go Camry. Um, surprising no one. <laughs> just because, just out of randomness. No, because they're Camry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like seeing Camry win. Yeah, out of out of hope rather than than true uh, logic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't base any of my decisions on logic on this. <laughs> or in life, if they, the, if they do the expected tragedy, then you'd fancy Camry. I'm going for Royals. With a wizard, it's not going to be easy for him. Yeah. But oh, I could actually do my painted draw that I carried on going for Ah. last week and actually put it on this week. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to go with the Pro Elves as well. I think, you know, likelihood That's is. That's draw, Draw's not a bad, you know, likelihood as well, is it? No. Um, I don't think it could go either way very, very easily. Kamazima is the most drawingest team. Yeah. And Kemi do draw a lot, don't they? Mm-hmm. They do draw yeah. a lot, Kemi. Yeah. The, the worst of so is going to be the wild card there. It makes the draw a bit less likely. Hmm. Yeah. If the wizard did success, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Disturbingly rat like against Chaos Black Nightmares. Hmm. Nicholas. Nicholas is Chaos. At sixteen hundred against the rats who are at sixteen ninety. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> that old, yeah, uh, that one. Uh, it's, yeah. 
Nicholas will probably have a babe, maybe two babes. Could almost got, afford uh, Lou Grip. He could almost afford Lou Grip. Uh, another solid choice. It would really <laughs> help him against the strip ball that the Rats have got. Um, it would actually be a surprisingly good pick. Uh, <laughs> 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 so actually, yeah, I really want to take Lude Grip now. <laughs> Avoid the strip ball rat by just having Lude Grip carrying it around. Mm. Yeah, pretty cool. Although the rats do have a Claw Mighty Blow Pommer, right? <sighs> that might deal with the minor tool that you don't like. No, no, he's not, he's not all of them. They've got Mighty Blow piling on Tackle, and they've got Claw Mighty Blow. Uh, mm. And they've got loads I'm of extra players. Gonna go, I'm still going to go Nicholas, because I still think he's going to win at some point. He's definitely going to not lose every game. This game. I think he, he might win one, but it's not going to be the Rats. This is not the game. This no, is not the one. Not, but... <laughs> even even if you know, even if the do uh, I don't know. No, no, it's just no. All right. So the next one is We Are Zons against the Caladrian Crusaders. Zons this against is not Nurgle. Going to be easy for the Nurgle. Do they have any tackle? Don't think they've got much, if any. No, I've one. gone for Zons on this one, but every time I go for Zons, they lose. So, <laughs> keep, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Kiss of death. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, this is weird. The Nurgle are lower TV than the Zons. Which mm. ain't good for the Nurgle. Uh, I suppose, actually, yeah, it's because that really expensive player's out. They've only got 11 players, though. Yeah. But the Zons' usual tactic is a certain amount of base, 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 which is not a great idea against Nurgle. Mm. Not necessarily. Nurgle could even get a bribe. <laughs> but they've only got 11 players. Yeah. I think they need a bribe and they need the bribe yeah. to work. Yeah. I think a, a bribe to yeah. murder some, some, some... Get the bribe, receive the ball, and just hopefully take a few out and score. Yeah. Uh, a strength up guard players out for the Amazons. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. It leaves them with only five guard and only one strength four. But that is out guarding the Nurgle a reasonable amount. But the Nurgle the, aren't the most mobile. No, but they are stronger. Yeah, they are, definitely. Uh, if, if, if they do win the toss and they get to receive, they sh hopefully can get it on that Pestigore and stand the Pestigore in the middle of some guard and then... like Which Pestigore? The one, the one who hasn't got blocked yet. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. and then you know, that's tr hope that the Zons come to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not unreasonable. They do have mighty blow tackle warrior, so he's going to be their killer, right? I'm going to go for a draw again. Oh, I think you might be right in this case. I think this is this this has draw written all over it. This is. This is the two of them punching each other and not really. Oh, yeah. the ball. Smithy has a like has a, the bot likes Smithy a lot, and in fact, so oh, do yeah. most most of the people who voted. We are the only two who are going for a draw. <laughs> yeah, everyone I'll else is going for a Zon win. But, but, uh, well, we're not here for our knowledge. Speak it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I, I think it's because of the um, anti-Amazon bias as mm. well. Yeah, there is that. some of that going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, but I could see it easily getting bogged down, which is exactly what the Nurgle want. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm happy with a draw on that. Anything to add, Dave, to our idea of a draw? You're going to um, point out to us how we're fools. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> it just depends on it. If he can protect his um his tackle piece, the Nurgle, and pick a few off, they could win quite easily. I mean, the, the tackle piece is foul appearance and AV 
uh, nine, nine, right? And yeah, strength, yeah, and strength four. four. So it's going to be hard for the Zons to take out the tackle. It's yeah. maybe more likely the Zons run away from the Just tackle. They keep away. Yeah. yeah. Like, claw is bloat. <laughs> they've only, but they've only got one bloat. They've only got one claw, right? Yeah, they do only have one claw. It's true. Anyway, I've I've made my pick. I'm sticking with it. So well, we... I've gone for the Zons. So it's Nurgle. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> okay, no, actually, because because you've said that, Dave, I am going to vote Nurgle just because I think the power of you picking Zons might mean yeah. that the Nurgle win. Yeah. I was thinking about switching over then as well, just because of the fact <laughs> that I looked at it, it's just like, yeah, I have no one vote for him to win. <laughs> well, can, you, can, you, can you change your mind afterwards? All oh, right. I thought once you picked that shit, you, you had to stick with it. Uh, we, we're sticking with it while we're on the stream, but if you change your oh. mind while we're chatting... Yeah, yeah. For it. yeah. Like, oh, right. yeah. you know, no, I'm staying with the guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if, if, if you know, uh, what's the... if you've suddenly decided that you don't like the rats to win or something, yeah, just tell us now that I've had a think and I want to go back on that. Yeah, you're welcome yeah. to. I mean, you know, let's face it, no one's going to notice if you actually changed it in no. the week of the week. If suddenly tomorrow <laughs> you're having an epiphany, like in midday, just like, oh no, I've made a mistake. I'm going to, I'm totally screenshotting all the votes so far, and we're, we're not allowing any changes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not yeah. willing to go that far. No, I'm not, I'm not either. I'm, that was a joke. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next game is the Bloody Bullies of Baria against the Druidici Violets. Vampires vamps, vamps, vamps. against Eldarin, but you know it's like, oh, this is a this is a right six pointer, second oh, against yeah. fourth. The you vamps can say that about almost every game that's going on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've I think we've already had a couple of six pointers. What ten sixty six and all that versus the Kemri. There's one point. No, they're on the same points. <laughs> Third and fifth. Yeah. Uh, the, the Vamps Zons and the Caldarian Crusaders are a little bit further apart. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. the Vampires, 2,000 TV Vampires, 15 players, pretty full roster against Eldarin's 1,500 TV uh, for not very many players at all. They're looking pretty trim. Se seven players. So they get they get a yeah. good a good four loners. Yeah, Actually, that that brings them up. To, That's going to bring them way up. That brings them up to seventeen twenty. No, uh, seventeen sixty. Seventeen sixty. So they get two hundred and forty k inducements against the vamps, which be a wizard in the wizard in the player won't yeah, I think. Mm, the wizards they'll leave him with 90k left after the wizard so yeah. I wouldn't imagine to see a star there he's got 100k in the bank which I don't think he's the Kirby, then. Maybe he's... Oh, he's, he's got a level to take as well I remember so actually it's yeah. 20 more and a bit less yeah um, well it might be more that might be why he's thinking so much yeah so yeah uh, it probably have, it's going to be a wizard and a babe probably yeah. Don't think he's. Good. He could afford to buy a lineman, but I wouldn't want to see it. I don't think. I'd rather play with the loners and then buy one of the um, loners if they steal the MVP. With the cash he's got at the moment. Um... I I like the vamps though. I like the vamps a lot as well. Um, I think I voted for the vamps a lot lately, and he's got Agi six, so he could show us what Agi six does. <laughs> um, and that's my reason why I've chose the vamps. Um, leading on nicely. I mean, you know, Agi six with no skills, not actually that good. He's got hypnotic gaze. He's also got bloodlust. He's got regen. Great <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd have stuck at five. I think. I, I mean, uh, I've, I've got an anti six gutter runner. He's amazing. He, but he also he also has dodge leap and 
block movement nine and movement nine and no bloodlust. So you know, mostly the bloodlust no is hypnotic gaze. No hypnotic gaze, true. You don't really need hypnotic gaze. What are tackle zones? You know. Well, no, you could use him to make a way for someone else to go in. Hmm. Very easily. Not that you would really want to be marking people with him. Oh. That'd be a terrible idea. Add you uh, well, I guess. I guess if you're doing it within tackle zones, yeah. Yeah. Add you five is enough for normal two plus, right? Two plus is. Yep. So it could be an A tackle zone. Hmm. All right. I'm not sure I'm I advocate. Sorry. What was that? I've gone for the elves. You gone for the elves? Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm. Someone's got to win. <laughs> I don't know who though. Like, I actually think the vampires could win this because, like, dark elves are not that fast that they can really run away that well. I'm going. I'm going for the vamps. No. I've decided. Vamps it is. Talking Fair of enough. dark elves and running away from possible ball sacking opportunities, it's Chicago Chicago Bull Shoit against Malekith Kink. The bot actually favours Mr. Majorison, which I think it almost never does when there's Kislev. I don't know. <laughs> Is this your excuse why uh, why your team's not getting favoured by the bot so much? I might I might even get favoured by the bot more than I think it should. <laughs> it's oh, the other way around. Enough. Yeah. Um, but there's there's general complaints on the on the Kislev thing about about the bot not favouring them. I'm, I think if I'm <laughs> rightly. Just random bitterness. Yeah. It never I, picks me. Last Better the ball. I very rarely look at the elos on them. Um, apart from the time when the bot thought it was more likely that the admin team was going to win than I was. <laughs> that's the only time I paid attention. And that's only because loads of people were pointing it out to me. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to favour the Kislev because I like the jumpy men. But... I like the jumpy men, but this is yep. this is a game where I think the dark elves win. That's fair. I, I think the board score. So I've, I've gone for a draw on this one. Ah, oh, but a high-scoring draw, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Too well. They're yeah. both going to have wizards. If that makes any difference. But no other inducements. No. See, I think the difference here is that the Malekith Kink have. Of movement eight blitzer, so that should be fast enough to be too difficult for the for the Kislev to really deal with. But like, you know, they've got two movement down linemen though. <laughs> that doesn't really help. Um, no, two movement down linemen. That's ridiculous. But no, one, no one. You know, it's fine. They're actually still quite mobile. Even movement two. Yeah. You know, mo even from the ground, movement two is enough to leap, and you usually. Your leaping is getting you out of trouble, and that's that's all you need to do, right? Yeah, that's true. Although it's rolling a free plus, so you're probably just going to be on the ground somewhere else. I did have a block mighty blow guard lineman uh, who did also tackle, Very nice. uh, and was my and was movement four, and even movement four wasn't that bad. You know, you just stuck him in the middle of the line, and then he didn't really go anywhere for the whole game. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> made him less nice uh, until he died. But yes, I'm sticking with the dark elves for this one, and I'm the only I think person. It's a solid choice. Yeah, I think we've all gone different this time. Yeah, I've gone for the um, jumpy men. You, you, a lot of people have gone for the jumpy men. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what it's like to be on the um, side of uh, where most people are voting. It's quite weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll talking talking of which, um, it's the bootleg all star all stars against Grinch. Dave, how mm. do you feel your chances? Are, we, we we kind of touched on this a bit earlier because when when we were talking about the um, goblins, yeah, what do you think? Unfortunately, I, I bought it for myself. Yeah, you kind of <laughs> that you kind of have to, don't you? That's that's you know. Yeah. You're not really yeah. allowed. To, you, I mean, you are. You have to really, but you have to really think your opponent's going to win before before you can actually yeah. vote against yourself, right? Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of players in my division that always vote against themselves. So, um, 
and they seem to do better when they do that. Yeah, well, is it like he- hedging your bets? You know, either you yeah. win the game and you're happy, or you get the bet right and you're slightly and, happy. Yeah. And they go yeah. in saying, I got the bets right. Mm. Uh, and then we get concerned that they're playing a very different game to the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always find um, against Goblins, it's, if he receives and causes damage, it, it can be quite hard, you know? Mm. It's going to be um, a bit more difficult, at least, because you've got armor nine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've just actually bought another lineman. I've got thirteen players now. Just, just for the, just for the game against the goblins. Saw and other things. I'm thinking, you know, if I receive the ball first, I'll be, I think I'll be okay. I should be. The, Can't guarantee. It's always that. Like, try and go for a quick score. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're That's gonna. Have, to they're gonna have three bribes, right? At least. Yeah. Um. So that even if you score quickly, it's still going to be uh, 320 TV of difference. Or actually, it's less than that cause it's got two levels, right? So, you know. 280. 280. That's enough for three bribes. And some. what else do you buy? With, and, oh, and uh, are they at home? They are, aren't they? Goblins at home, Nuffle also, so they get Bomber and Fez or something. Yeah. So effectively, they'll have kind of five, they'll have, you know, five dirty players and three bribes, right? Is, mm-hmm. is would be my plan. Yeah. Um, and yeah, with Goblins, you often find it feels really stressful in the first half when they've got everything and they're yeah. running, running around threatening. But if you can just kind of chill and not worry too much, the second half usually is all the other team, right? You just need yeah, to... Yeah, I'm going to... Well, I'll try and do... I think I'm going to try and um, stay grouped up so you can't pick them up. It's mm-hmm. so easy. That's what I'll be trying to do. Um, hopefully it works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, he's got Wrestle Strip Goblin, but that's not going to be very useful against... An Agi for block sure hands goblin. Uh, I get orc. I mean, sorry, all you all you green skins look the same to me. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I've got to go for orcs. Really, I think. Goblins are so unpredictable. They, you know, they couldn't mm-hmm. win quite easily. Spoon's being very quiet about voting against you. Although he does, he does always, uh, he does always vote against the guest, right? That's the that's part of the plan. So, no problem. Yeah, I feel like we might have lost Spoon actually from the fact he's not talked for at least thirty seconds, which is unus- <laughs> unusual for him. Ah, bloody <laughs> Mike Mar- Mar- got muted. Um, <laughs> it's good I mentioned it. Yeah, um, I, I've been. Um, press spreading some pro troll propaganda um, while I was muted. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, Wait, I was saying what I'd like to see from him is because um, he's got three seventy, so he could get two bribes, uh, rip, and then for ten k, get bomber as well of his own money. So he gets a full bench, extra bomber in there for a bit of carnage. You're, oh, you're assuming he he fires and rehires the his uh, normal leveled troll to yeah. get that right. Oh, and yep. also Jivasak is raiding with a party of six and eight. Raiding again with a party of eight. How does how, I don't know how that work? How does that work? He's raided twice with more people. <laughs> <laughs> I found some more people. Yeah. <laughs> um. We're kind of near the end, the end though. Of this so I have a feeling this is the this is the being passed around the end of the, uh, you know, various recaps slowly building up as they as everyone goes to bed. But thank you for the thank you for the raid, uh, Jivasak, who I will be doing a recap with tomorrow of my of my division. Cool. Yeah. Um, and in fact, so I told you that I was going to be doing the recap of Training Grounds for G, whatever, after this. Well, I think it's being delayed until Toby finishes his game. So, you know, we're going to we're gonna have a little bit of a break. 
Oh, uh, but we're we're done, right? Is that it? We're happy. Yeah. Anything else? We're all done on this. Yeah. Nope. I I think think yeah. Cool. Okay. Actually, I'm going to keep the stream going. I'm going to watch the end of Toby's game as he's in um, the uh, the division that I'm going to be recapping next. Cool. Uh, and then we'll see when it ha when it finishes. Uh... Is it Toby that's doing the um, recap with you? No, it's not. Uh, it's it, but he's he's one of the six teams in that division, and he's also uh, was my like second in command for admining things in another in another league. So we're we're on a couple of discords together, and we talk quite a lot. Uh, CWC. I get I bet you I get his coach name wrong because oh no, there we are. Boom. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, so I will. I'm going to actually. Uh, well, see how far into this game is, but I'm going to take like a five minute break and grab some food because I've not eaten anything yet. Cool. Uh, Fair enough. And then come back with. Oh, it's dead people and rain. What a wonderful combination. <laughs> That, that doesn't sound the most exciting of games. No. Both teams dead? Yeah. I mean, dead oh, in terms no. of uh, one's undead and one's necro. Ugh. Uh, so... Uh, at least one team's having the decency to be proper undead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the other hand, the necro have lost a, tomb, a flesh golem. I always want to They paid the tax. That means they're going to get some sort of decent wolf at some point. Uh, oh, the, he's got an edgy up. Yep. And he's and the other one? I didn't see the other one. The other one. Uh, oh bloody hell, mighty blow and piling on. Yeah. Oh he's got he's gonna be losing a lot of flesh golems. <laughs> for that. Yeah. Hopefully. Anyway Well he's paying the tax. It's yeah. fine. Thank you for joining us Disco points. Dave. That was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Okay. Yeah cool. Uh, nice to meet you. I'll catch you later. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Definitely. We'll do it again. Okay. Cheers, yeah. All right, Thanks cheers. A lot. Players. Every week. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. See you. But, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the headset off for, I guess, a while. I guess about half. But, you know, well, I'm going to go get some food and then I'll be back in maybe 10 or cool. 20 minutes or whatever. I'm going to disappear and I shall catch you at some point later. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll drop you a message uh, later in the week. Oh yeah, and off with next week's. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, so next week we should be a Tuesday, but if... I think next week should be a Tuesday. I'm but not we'll sure. But definitely I can make not it. happen. Okay. So if it's definitely not, uh, we can do it late. Um, so I could do Friday or Saturday that week, which will be obviously we'll after. Probably do those. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. We'll catch up on the. We'll catch up off uh, once we know. Once yeah. I know what's going on. Ooh, although Jivsack might be with, we might be able to swap swap rounds as well, so there might be Thursday or something. I don't know, we'll work it out. Alright, cool. Okay, I'm right. gonna go for a cool. break. See, See you later. later. Cheers guys. Cheers. Bye. Okay, and thank you for every thank you again, Jivsack, for raiding me. I am going to uh go and grab some food while this game plays out for a little while, and then I'm gonna come back and I will be chatting. Uh and uh Toby appears. What? Oh, it's the second half, and the necro of Toby got turned over and scored on, and so now it's the undead tribe, even though they've scored already. Okay. I will uh, come back and visit in a second, but for now, I'm going to mute myself. Oh, I'm going to change that as well. Ooh. Oh, that's not right. Okay. Let's delete that. Yes. All right. I'm going to leave this on for a little while. Uh, maybe even... Not that.
Okay, I will be back.
Okay. Um, hi. Good. And you? It's okay. Yeah. I also watched the game a little bit. There's a whole of it. You can watch. And his first half was, as he said, a little bit unlucky. Mm -hmm. Did you look at the other games? Nerve game was a little bit strange, like, really strange. Uh, in the second half, the underworld soft conceded. Oh, uh, you can hear me on the stream already. Okay. No, I have to hear my headset. Okay. Uh, uh, can we talk?
Okay, hello. Is that too loud? Whoops. Um, welcome to Training Grounds G match recap. recap match day one. Kind of, you know, or is it match day nine for some people? Um, <clears throat> okay. one. Yeah, match day one. Boom. Uh, and we've just watched the end of... Uh, I watched the end of Toby's game, but you were watching the whole thing? Yeah. Um, but we'll... <laughs> We'll start with um, we'll start at the top of of uh, of the list of games, uh, and the first game was uh, Jokse against uh, Rideable Llama, the uh, Nurgle against uh, Underworld, and you you watched this back, right? Yeah, I looked at this a little bit, and it was actually quite an uneven even match mm -hmm. just from TV. Right? Underworld and you Glad Skitter a bad enter wizard, so. That's oh, really a lot of things. Yeah. What can I say about the game? There was an attrition fireball turn one. Oh, by by rideable armor. Yeah, it didn't actually do much, but. Oh no! Wait, I did. I watched the beginning of this. I remember. I watched the the first half of this and thought, uh, you know, it, it was like an attrition fireball against four players or something as well, wasn't it? Yeah. No one really important. It just happened. Yeah, and uh, I think you can do it, but just wait with it and force the opponent team to make ugly cages and then use it later. Yeah, it 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 would be a lot more use useful if if he didn't. Um, I mean, basically, it was a waste, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a complete waste. And you usually do also do more damage if you wait for an attrition fireball. There's some rare cases against elf teams or red swag. Yeah, you can you do it, but I'm really not a fan. Uh, um, a few things. Uh, I think the viewer management was a little bit odd for both teams in this case in the first half. Like uh, taking a double skull or both down is okay. Then else, um, yeah, like they had a. Yeah, okay. So, so what for both sides, or was it just uh, rideable armor who was using uh, his three rolls? Both sides. I think the both teams only had two re rolls, and the Nerve used their two in the first two turns, and I think the Underworld in the first three turns. So, <clears throat> and it were really turns where you could take a skull. Like you usually don't want to, but having one re roll and having none is a really big difference. So yeah. You really want to keep it. And also, re-rolls at the end of a half are so much more valuable than re-rolls at the beginning of a half because, especially if you're, I guess it's less in this in this instance, but if you're if you're playing for the two-one grind, so often it doesn't matter if you if you turn over early on, you can get into trouble as long as you get out of it and score towards the end of the half. It's yeah. kind of it's all right, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think uh, the narrow could have. Uh, focus a little bit more on ball safety, like the quite a few turns where the area was visible. So it was make a screen or a cage. So the underworld don't have so many chances to get it, even if you did go out. And on turn seven, there was a really nice chain push from Jocks or an idea. It didn't work out because he got the boss down, but to free his ball carriers up and score. He just scored a tornado, but the idea was nice. Mm -hmm. And the second half was strange. Like the underworld started with the uh, boss down on the troll as the second block, and then just soft conceded, so the game ended there. I really don't want to talk about it that much. It's, I think the game was playable, and I really think you should continue. And you play Blood Bowl to play Blood Bowl and not just pass the turn. Yeah. Well, I wonder if he's, you know grumpy with this team already having uh, not played that many games uh with with yeah. under underworld can be quite difficult right uh, uh, yeah. if there was any reason a uh, real life reason for the play and just stop the game just said but then i i'm sorry but i really don't like soft conceding hmm. oh that was his first game with them actually yeah. so oh well um yeah, you got, well, you know what? There's not much else to say. 
<clears throat> was there any levers in this game? No, no, it's... it's uh, oh, actually, wait a second. Did the Nurgle get... No, the Nurgle got three touchdowns and the MVP on the uh, Dodge Shorehands Pestigore, but he still won SPP away from actually levelling. Okay, well, yeah. So, probably next game. Yeah. It's a really nice boy, so yeah. And one of the Nurgle... Yeah. In fact... Both yeah. Nurgle warriors who have Mighty Blow are also one SPP away from leveling. Okay. <laughs> Time for Vanity Pass, Nurgle warriors. <laughs> yeah. <Good> life work. <laughs> it's fifty-fifty, no. you know, or a twenty-five percent chance, you know. Whatever. You also have to catch the boy. Yeah. That's why I said their yeah, change is twenty-five, but you know, whatever might be even easier than that. Thank you. It's worth it's worth trying some some of these sometimes you don't know. Uh, okay, but the the humans halflings sounded from your description. I don't think, like I think I might have watched a little bit of this one as well, but I can't remember. Did we talk about it? We talked about it a little bit last week, didn't we? Because I the, both these games were played when we did the the precap. Uh, I think we only thought about it. I haven't watched it at that time at all. Like, yeah. Didn't know anything last week about the game. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So I also looked at it a little bit or completely. And mm -hmm. was actually, if we ignore the score, it was actually a surprisingly close game. Even this was close to something else. It started with a really short kick. So, and uh, right next to the halfling. And the humans uh, tried to pick up the ball turn on and failed. So the halfling st uh, stole the ball, uh, ball turn on. And um, I think that's um, an example where the humans could have played safer. So usually you pick up the ball, it's only one and nine to fail it. But if it fails, it's really, really bad for you. you so you put uh, should put some players around the ball first, usually and basically ever. And it was possible and it really, it really wouldn't have hurt you. But then to describe the game, the half stole the ball, then they failed a tree dodge. So the humans got the ball back. Uh, tree dodge with, spectac with spectacular, of course. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the halflings tried to throw a few halflings because they do halfling things. Didn't work out, but it looked fun. And then the humans, I think they could have. Uh, scored a bit earlier. Like I think we agree that this is not the most uh, competitive league in this. Uh, why that you winning or drawing is not that important. You mostly want SPP. So humans could have scored on turn four or five, I think, and they scored to turn eight. eight. Mm. Like it's a decision you can do it, but I think scoring earlier would be correct. More likely to get more SPP, even yeah. if yeah. even if you're giving away SPP to the halflings, you know, it's yeah. it's worth it. Just, uh, steal the ball, you can hit more halflings. Mm -hmm. It's just an idea. And the second half, I think we discussed it last week a little bit about the uh, plan of the halflings with the interesting choice of diving catch, and he really did this in this game. He put his two diving catch players in the back half. Mm -hmm. Uh, put the ball on his Hail Mary players and <laughs> passed. It, it didn't even work, so a halfling caught the ball, but unfortunately the halfling moved first and and then the he got human, the, the evil humans <laughs> hit him <laughs> uh, took the ball that was a bit back and forth, but the humans just outflanked the halflings and ultimately scored. I mean, humans are a bad bad matchup for this uh, idea of of uh, hail mary pass and diving catch because humans are in general a bad matchup for uh, Skaven underworld because they are quite fast and outspent the teams. Yeah, actually, the third yeah. fastest team on on in Blood Bowl, right? That's After awesome. Uh, but yeah, but also with the diving catch thing, you kind of have to move the catchers first, don't you? Because you don't want um, you don't want to uh, when you throw the hail mary pass. The chances are it's not going to be caught. It's going to land out of range, and your turn's going to be over. So it's best to move them 
up first, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, he could have, I think he could have moved one in the end zone and tried to catch there. Mm -hmm. Not sure if it's easier to catch or it's more difficult. Well, yeah, yeah, you, you have less zones to, to aim for. And also, uh, at the moment, while they don't have sidestep, they're going to get surfed. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Drunken's, Drunken's uh, in the chat and he said, surprisingly close, pa. And also, uh, the second diving catch failed. Otherwise, I would have scored okay, even. Uh, I have to say, I have to, I have to admit, I just uh, clicked through the game after humans got the ball. So mm -hmm. I might be inaccurate at some point. Mm -hmm. Um, but still, you know, for for a team like this to to even get close to to doing well is is uh, kind of fun, right? Yeah, the game was was really even, even if you saw the two zero. Yeah. Think we can move on to the next game, or? Uh, well, so there is one other thing to say, which is there were three level ups for the oh, for the yeah. humans. Uh, the thrower who made one pass also got MVP leveled up, and both catchers scored the two touchdowns. So I assume that was on purpose to to level them up. Um, and I don't know what they got. Where where are they? Here we are. Humans. Ironic that the failed gimmicks are the humans and not the diving catch team, and also that the fumblers are the ones who. Uh, got in to get the ball after the humans fumbled it. But uh, block on everyone. Everyone gets block. It's a quit skill. Yeah. Un and unsurprising. And we just watched a bit of the... Uh, oh, and also uh, Deep Root Wheatbush, the uh, break tackle tree, got... Uh, his, that, that second level was from this game. Uh, was from MVP, so Juggernaut. Which, you know, don't hate. Yeah. Uh, okay, and we just watched the Zog Zoglog Toby game. Yeah. Uh, I only watched the end of it, as I said. I saw uh, Toby's uh, running commentary in, disc in the Discord uh, we use for chat. Uh, oh, and Zog, uh, Zoglug is is saying it was a dicing in the first half in his favour, which I is. Think, and there was a the first half started with a walk on a column, and it removes the golem. And I think that's a very good summary of the whole half. <laughs> was just unlucky. Yeah. He got a lot of cards, he got a lot of ones on GFIs. And yeah, it was it was a nice thing. I think that's pretty accurate. Uh, but uh, one advice I would would want to give Zotbug, even if your opponent gets dice, you really should foul the claw pumper. <coughs> you really should do it. You had the bench, you had the opportunity, and he and he hurt your team in the second half. Yeah. I, I Fouling is a legitimate tactic, and you should use it mm -hmm. whenever possible. I uh, yeah, I, the bit that I saw, both teams had a bribe, and neither was fouling. I was like, why? What? Like two? How the bribe goes? They go to turn eight mm -hmm. on a kickoff event, so that's not a reason. But yeah, fouling uh, is really a strategy you should use. Especially with undead. Yeah, undead and necro, both with the forty k linemen. You should get used to fouling. Yeah, you know that that werewolf, that werewolf would be a fa worth fouling without a bribe or without dirty player. But you have you've actually you've got dirty player as well, don't you? I think he wasn't on the pitch the half, but even with uh, yeah, you've skilled. <laughs> You skilled up a skeleton with dirty player. You had a bribe, and you weren't fouling. Is is you know, it's funny. <laughs> uh, but obviously, two um, you know, uh, two touchdowns, and and very nice spread of SPP as well. So I mean, Zoglug leveled the plus movement white to get tackle. 
the mighty blow white to get guard and one of the ghouls i think the one who didn't have any skills now has uh sure hands so on you and a mummy so the mummy also got stand firm yeah and the sure hands ghoul yeah so but the, I mean, I guess the one of the the I guess the mummy and one of the whites leveled through punching things, which you can't yeah. really say is is uh, yeah. you know on purpose. But the the ghoul and the uh, the whites that he handed off to the hand off to the white, which almost dropped the ball and gave Toby a chance to get yeah. to get the ball. Yeah, that's also one of the things where he was way ahead. Toby didn't really contest the ball, but even then. Put a few players around it so an unlucky skitter doesn't put you in such a risky situation. Mm. Yeah, that that um, the when the ball fell on the floor, Toby yeah. could have got more players around it if he'd have been willing to risk more as well. So like, I would have dodged out the zombie uh, that was nearest the ball. That was it was in the tackle zone with a mummy. It's like it's not doing anything there. You got a fifty-fifty chance of getting another tackle zone on the ball. It was it was worth uh, it, you know. Uh, I think Toby focused more on damage overall in the second half. Like he gave uh, Zucklock a really easy chance to score. He basically gave up the whole half. Just wanted to claw pump a mummy. Yeah, which is a yeah. way to get SPP. Uh, but it, you know. Is the mummy actually the best thing to be to be trying to kill as well, though? Uh, I guess if you can get the assists on it, it's the most impressive thing to do. Hmm. He did. He did damage. He did MNG one of the mummies I saw, and it regened. Yeah. So uh, you know, regen's not alive when you when your opponent has it. I think uh, the other half was just HG4 doing HG4 things and ultimately scoring. Yeah. Like, uh, I was worried there because I didn't. It looked to me like Toby was going to, you know, not not get a score. But I think, uh, uh, it you know, uh, the undead kind of almost didn't try too hard in case they lo lost someone. I think. I think there was no relevant damage. They mm. may have died. Uh, zombie. They don't count. Uh, in terms of SVP, though, they both basically got the same amount of SVP, just two difference. So, uh, and I think which one? So Kramp, did Krampus actually get any SPP in that game? He did, didn't he? He got, he got six. Yeah, so he got three. three um, oh, why am I doing this? Oh, because uh, I think when I looked earlier, RepoNet wasn't up to date with the... <clears throat> yeah, it is now. Cool. So uh, I quite like this view of the game that there is in RepoNet as well. Uh, but yeah, so three cas for Krampus, that touchdown for Black Shuck, and another cas for the Dallahan. Oh, actually, so yeah, and there, there are the four levels. The mummy got MVP to level up, I see, and uh, Rick Reckless got a cas. So there you go. All right, cool. And I think we move on to next week. Yep. Uh, I need to, I need to get a shortcut for the uh, thing. Anyway, uh, I've been fortunate with MVPs. Uh, Zoglog's um, had some lucky MVPs by the looks of it, not not being absorbed by the by the zombies. Um, and as I joined my co-host for my previous recap, uh, you know, took one look at uh, Toby's werewolves and said he's he's going to have to pay some heavy. Uh, you know, uh, what's Golem the word? Texas? Yeah, golem tax, and then then spotted that one of the golems was out of the pitch. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so we have uh, failed gimmicks against the Swamp of Sorrow. Um, so the failed gimmicks is the humans who beat the, the halflings against Swamp of Sorrow. So the two teams that both um, won, won their the won their game by quite a lot of of touchdowns. You know, with with their opponents not scoring at all, playing each other this week. Um, yeah, uh, will be difficult for the humans. Yeah, although well, Nurgle are pretty new, so they're going to be slow. Mm -hmm. uh, the humans probably get a wizard and a bait. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No extra money. Yeah, but so humans are probably going to win, but they might take some damage. Would be my guess. I mean, the Nurgle don't have any claw yet. They're not that killy. They have three mighty claws. That's uh, yeah, and a blodge, a blodge beast. Yeah. Um, I've set up, by the way, in the uh, in the Discord that we do, uh, a channel with predictions, like I've done for the for two B. Yeah. Um, so I am going to click on the humans to win this one. Actually, I'm going to click. If, uh, it doesn't make any difference. Why are we predicting? We should be, uh, you know, working out who's going to get more SPP. Yeah, yeah, but that's boring. Yeah, I think the humans will get more SPP. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the humans are going to win, and mm -hmm. depending how, how many uh, touchdowns they score, they if they score two more touchdowns, they will get more SPP. Otherwise, the Nurgle. Will... <laughs> so you think think the Nurgle are going to score? Are going to get three Kaz and the humans two touchdowns, and whoever gets more of I think those the things. Nurgle are getting. Uh, two more cards than the humans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the humans getting... Yeah. Uh, ah, vanity passes is also a thing. Yeah. Humans are going to get more SPP. Yeah, I thought that's also... I think they're also going to win. Yeah, I think the vanity passing... Well, they, they didn't really do much against the halflings, but that's probably because they were... They didn't have an easy time against the halflings. They never had the ball, right? But yeah. Okay, so the next one is the Bleak Brandy Cutters against... Kenwood Wraith. That's uh, Toby against Rideable Llama. The uh, the undead, the underworld, underworld against Necro. Oh. And the underworld get again get the best part of four hundred TV of inducements. Yeah. Not, um, hmm. um, Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go for Toby on that one, I think. Uh, underworld. Just like, like any really good play, player mm -hmm. or developed player at this point, and, uh, and um, the Neko have tech, have one tackle, have a claw pumper. They're probably going to out-injure the Underworld by a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the underworld like the underworld have hundred and eighty gold. I don't know why, but you know. Yeah. There will be I think we thought about uh Nuffle Alta as a strategy last week. Yeah. It's probably what he's going going for. I, I think that's a good idea, but he should spend the money on the the first level up now, because otherwise he's paying thirty yeah. gold in, in uh, you know, being overbanked. But I think that will happen. Yeah. Like, Okay, and then uh, the last game is the Frankfurt Fumblers. That will be the Halflings against Shikar Ghoul Bears. Chicago Ghoul Bears. Yeah, the un the undead. So how how do you think? How do you rate your chances, uh, Drunken? Top game, <laughs> undead <laughs> at fifteen thirty against Halflings at uh, one ten. Enough is that enough to get um, either Zara or Deep Root? You're probably going to get a trap. Yeah. And then you have 240 left. <clears throat> they really don't know. Uh, yeah, Zara, oh, uh, Zoglods as well. He says, I'm expecting Zara and a chef and something else. Yeah. I mean, for 20 gold, the Halflings could get a wizard, Zara, and a chef, I think. 
Oh, Drunken says he drew against Soglug before, so I figure I can try and win. Now he's now he's now he's got the OP Hail Mary pass. And actually, this is probably the the game where I undead are pretty slow. If you can get them to to move around a bit, you know, get their whites and ghouls out of permission, out of position. Does does Sarah have a dauntless? I'm not sure. Uh, he's got a strength three yeah. fling. Ah. Yeah, maybe. Oh. We've played twice We've before. Played twice before. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that was, sorry. The the silence was me re trying to read what was being said. <clears throat> um, uh, I think that will be a really interesting game. Actually, difficult to call like. If I'm honest, I would always bet against the halflings, but the game against the humans was really surprisingly close, so I think it will be interesting, but ultimately, I really can't bet for halflings. No. I think they're just too bad of the team. Really so sorry, Tony. <clears throat> yeah, you always get that where uh, it feels like it should be close when you're if you play well and if you have a little bit of luck, but it's just so hard. Having said that, I have been beaten 4-0 by Halflings once. Um, so, you know, there's always the dream. It can happen. It can happen to you too. <laughs> you always hope that, that Halflings win, but you always bet against them. Yeah, I mean, basically, like, it takes it takes a blitz and, you know, a thrown teammate landing on the ball and running off and scoring quickly to, to be in with a chance, I think. Zoglug's betting on the flings to win. Oh wait, okay. So actually, if you want to that's, join, that's join the betting. Uh, I can copy the. Uh, there we are. So there's an invite to uh, my Discord channel where we have like a few different channels for betting and stuff for different uh, competitions. And in there, you'll find Rebel, and in in the Rebel one at the bottom is Gman Five. TGG, <clears throat> the training grounds G and the predictions channel. If you uh, if you you know there's a, a bot that prints out the games that are coming up and you can click on on who you want. In some of the other recaps I do, we keep a running score of who of how people do. Like, is that worth it? We can do that here if you want. I'm, I'm, I'll 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 sort out that out as well. Yeah, that'd be cool for next week. Yeah. That's yep. Fine. Sounds like a fun idea. Mm -hmm. Cool. And it's probably pretty late where you are now. It's like 10.30 here. So uh, I'm. that's it. Yeah? There's not, yeah. not much else to say. Um, I so we featured anything. If you have any suggestions, I think we are pretty open. Yep. And I think we have here some options because we are only featuring six players. So it's easier to make something. Yeah. Yeah. If you just, you know, as, uh, uh, especially, especially if people want, as uh, yeah. you know, <clears throat> if anyone's got any ideas for funny things, we'll do it. Okay. So yeah, it can, it can be, a, yeah, it can be a training oh. ground for us as well. <laughs> I like the dialogue style of recap. Awesome. Cool. Okay then, uh, I'm gonna raid someone, and oh, uh, and thank you very much, Cyclone, again for joining me. Thank you. Uh, mm. And I'm going to raid someone who's... Uh, there we are. There's someone who's going to do a recap. <coughs> so we'll raid them. Um, Slade the Back Mage is playing a game, but... Oh, uh, there's a Training Grounds game. Or... Black Nexus is about to do a recap for Rel. I think we will go for... Uh, the other training grounds game so you can see what watching other people is like. <laughs> oh, actually, no, they're just finishing. I, let's not do that. Um, that would be... I'll, I'll probably go for Slade the Black Mage then, yeah? Let me check to see how far in he is. Ah, oh, adverts. Okay, fine. I'm just going to raid Slade. Thank you very much, everyone. And, uh, I mean, you know, 
I say I'm just going to raid him. It's going to take uh, like about 10 seconds for the raid to actually happen. So, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, first half, so you got loads of time. All right, and he's got loads of weird gimmicky things on his stream, so you know you can you can see what that looks like. <laughs> All right, uh, cheers and thank you again, Cyclone. Goodbye, and we're out. Cool. <laughs>